Imagine a world where you can get where you need to go safely, quickly, and without congestion, and where there is no pollution or carbon emissions. We ride in electric cars charged by renewable energy, and we have energy efficient buses, trains, ships, and airplanes in every country. This is not an impossible dream. It is doable, and the Paris Climate Agreement gives us the roadmap to get there. Just about every country has signed up, and every nation has to show what it's doing to keep carbon emissions down. On a personal level, I want to travel in a safe, healthy environment, in a city which is friendly to pedestrians and no motorized transport. And we've seen an increase in people riding bikes here in Brazil. We can all do our bit. We can walk and bike more and use mass transit. Today, transport accounts for a fifth of our carbon emissions. But things are starting to change. The demand for electric cars is growing really fast in leading markets like China, Europe, Japan and the United States. It's possible that electric cars will be 100% of sales by 2035. The city of Shenzhen, China, home to 12 million people, has already electrified its entire fleet of more than 6,000 buses and Mexico City has started introducing electric trolley buses. South Africa has committed to shifting a third of freight transport from road to rail and a fifth of passengers away from private cars to green public transport. And when we look at our oceans, we are already investing in clean shipping, which carries the bulk of our international trade. The goal is to have zero emissions vessels on the sea by 2030. And in our skies, we need to innovate to have aircraft running on new, cleaner energy, including hydrogen. So the path to zero carbon transport, it's feasible. We can do it, together with government, business and community. Please join us by posting your support for hashtag climate action.